Hello, everybody, and welcome to this Scouting Report. I'm Dan Hayek here with Armchair Analyst Matt Doyle. Today we're focusing our attention on Justin Mapp, arguably the most productive inverted winger in MLS history. He tallied his 60th career assist last weekend against the New York Red Bulls. Matt, what's the nuts and bolts of this player? Well, the first thing you notice about Justin Mapp is that sweet left foot. You know he can get out wide and put a cross on a dime, but the reason he plays inverted is because he can cut inside and threaten goal himself. He's not a prolific goal scorer, but he does it just enough to keep defenses honest, and when they step to him, he could then slip the forward through. Very, very creative player, and consistently so over the last couple of years. Now, despite that consistency in recent years, Years. His cap number hasn't gone up any, and that brings us to the magic number. His career appearances for the U.S. national team is only at eight, the last one coming in 2007. Can we expect him to add a couple to that tally this year? No, I, I don't think <laughs> we can, but I kind of wish he would. Yeah. Look, look Map, does, Map, first of all, he's competing against guys like Breck Shea, who's really out of form and hasn't been playing regularly anywhere, Julian Green, who's only 18 and looked out of his depth against Mexico, and Brad Davis, who's a different kind of player, a useful player, but he's not going to break defenses down one versus one like Justin Mapp does. And take a look at this play from week one against FC Dallas, which I still think is the best individual play of the season. He's able to go right past three defenders with the ball on his foot, break FC Dallas's lines, and then put an off-foot cross right on target for a tap-in for Nassana Niasi. That's a type of play that separates Map from the rest of the guys in the player pool. That type of acceleration, close control, you don't find it often anywhere. Now the problem with him when he was a youngster, it was all about potential, but he wasn't doing it consistently. Is that something we're seeing now? Yeah, it is. I mean, it's, it's been the story of his career in Montreal. The coaching staff last year said he was their most consistent player throughout the course of the season, and he looks to be even better, in even better form right now in 2014 and still just 29, folks. Yeah, he's still in his prime, but his final chance at national team glory might be just a month away with the last camp ahead of Brazil coming up. And if he's playing this well, I know I want him to get a call in. But I want to know if you want him to get called in as well. Let us know in the comment section below.